a dose on my blow Shout out to Philly, the city that's fucking gritty Ain't nobody in the city that's really been fucking with me Got my arms in the line I'm the dime, just signed on the line And a nigga won't stop, can't stop Bullshit. You be on that bullshit. You on that 718, can't get a f the lick it. He really wanna fuck me, cause you know that really different. That pussy, but I purr like a little kitten. He begging, asking me to let him stick the tip in. Reality job, let me find out. As you told me about you yesterday. Telling me you're getting a whole bunch of emails asking why you're not having a reunion. I'm tired of Everybody coming to me like, oh, Darrell, why y'all not having a reunion? This and the form. A lot of y'all don't understand. I truly don't even know. I don't know. I genuinely don't care. I genuinely don't care if we have a reunion or not because I really didn't have no beef with anyone. And a lot of those people were hyping up a reunion because a lot of them needed that extra check. I'm fine. I don't, I'm not going to say I don't care, but if it happened, it happened, it don't, it don't. Because it's not like I was going to be a big focal point of the reunion anyways. So it really did not matter to me if we had a reunion or not. I was willing to go. I was willing to, you know, actually have someone dress me for this reunion so I can look the part, but if it happened, it happened, it don't, it don't. So, um, I, me personally, do I care? No. Why would people go to your work email and ask questions like that? That's weird. Yes, they do that. They do that. So when I speak to Avery, Avery's like, hey, your, your work email is damn near flooded with reunion emails. I don't know why. That's literally some... Like, y'all literally asking the wrong person. Like, y'all asking for baddest cast, this and forth and all that. Natalie and Zeus are the perfect people to talk to about that. They're literally the perfect people. I'm not... The, I'm really not that person to ask. This is the second reality show I've been on and completed a season and they get a real. I was already kind of like, I can't tell you like, oh, they did this because of this. I literally know just as much as y'all, literally. Like, I genuinely don't know. Like, as much as I wish I could tell y'all, I don't know. I just lay in my bed. I still have three bookings I have to do. I still got other shit I got to do. The hair care line. I got to go film another show. I don't, even if, even now, even if they was to do a reunion, I can't even do it. Because it's like, now I'm about to go film a whole nother show. Like, that's something, like, y'all really have to take it up with Zeus because I don't know. Y'all should just get together and have your own reunion. No, because then eventually that could be, a like, a crime. That's illegal. Because if we all start fighting this stuff, that's kind of, like, illegal. <sighs> you know, I just... Just... Got past my own legal battle, so. So it's like I don't, I don't know. Like I genuinely don't know. Like y'all asking me this, y'all asking me that. Like you think because you guys are males, that's not true. Because um, Bobby had a reunion. So, like. This is why this like this is what Raspberry brought in that that don't mean nothing. That don't mean nothing. The fight's legal on the show cause y'all 
And technically, it's a controlled environment. It's a, it's a controlled environment. Like, honestly, it's like, I'm sick of the, we're getting, I'm little. we're literally getting backlash because of something that we had no control of. Like, we literally, your people are giving us backlash for something that we have no control of. So I would say if we had our own partner. Mm. Like. I'm just saying like. Like I'm honestly just ready. The show is the show is over. It's it's dwindled down. Um, I'm grateful for that stepping stone. I'm grateful for that stepping stone, but y'all, I don't, I don't. I'm okay. I'll come back to do the auditions, maybe, but I'm, I'm okay. I don't, I don't want to be too much affiliated with it no more. I should have just did like a one and done. But then I came back because my platform had finally got to just like us, us, us. But now it's like a whole bunch of bad boys questions. But, um, I don't know why they give you backlash. Child, when I be on the phone with Prince and all of them, we get backlash. When I talk to Prince, Prince get it too. Prince get it too. So, yeah. But, um, yeah, it's like I'm kind of to the point where the show is over. Just let it be now. I'm just to the point where it's just like, let the show be. Um, so, like, the dust can settle so we can go back to. So, I could go back to, you know, let the dust settle. Like, get on my work, e like, get on my booking and promo email because he has to really just see that. Um, like, that's, that's literally a Zeus question. Like, that's literally a Zeus question. No, nobody breaching the contract. Contact outside. Y'all talking about people was talking about meeting up and fighting outside the show. Like. Yeah, I don't, I genuinely just don't know. So it's like, y'all ask me what it's just like, I really don't know. So do you think it's too late for a reunion? Yeah. So, yeah, I'm just, I'm genuinely just ready for the dust to settle. Um, Prince is, I think Prince is, Prince is out of town. They can put his rounds, you know. But it's like, It's like, you know, just let the Zeus dust settle. You know, the show is over. It's done. Jocelyn's Cabaret is literally out. Um, Crazy in Love is literally out. Baddies, the cat. Well, I know the cast. I seen, I heard about it. So, yeah. So, that's, I'll just let the dust settle. The show is over. Um... 
I don't know how you be dealing with fans because they be getting on my nerves and all that. I can, it's, I've, I've learned how to separate them now. I, I've, I've learned how to separate bad boys fans and just people that fuck with me in general. It's not hard to tell. It's really not hard to tell. It's not. It's like some day, like, it's like, it gets a point sometimes where, I don't know. I don't know. I don't need no more screw recordings of me telling people I don't like them touching me because even though I don't. Um, but yeah. It's like, just let the, just let the dust settle. Let the dust settle. The show, the show is over. The show is over. The crazy love triggers me. Oh, yeah, me too. Over. Let it be. You know, see what the, see what the boys, the guys, the bad boys, the men. Um. See what the boys, see what the men are up to. See what the boys, see what the men are up to. See what's going on. See how they're acting after the show. See how they're doing after the show. See what's going on after the show because they're probably doing other things besides whatever. Uh, Aura has a song. Um, Prince is, you know, part of promoting and doing this and the fourth and all of that. Um, I think Mo is making music. Jonathan is still like doing hair and thriving in his show. I'm going to film another TV show. I have a hair care line. I might drop a song. I might drop a song. Might drop a song. Um... Mo just had a baby. You know, see what they're doing. See what they're doing. Like, see what they're doing. Because I'm going to focus on what I started before and after the show. I still have bookings out the ass. Like, even when we go, like, when I go out, I went to, I went to Popeye's yesterday, and the girl was like, why are they not, so I'm like, girl, give my motherfucking food, I don't give a fuck about that show. Yeah, I think Mo had a baby. So it's like, people, like. Right. I'm I'm happy to go do this other show because it's gonna show me more like in a positive light. But y'all come on, like big time. Like the show is over. I I uh I appreciate the followers. I appreciate the people who followed me. Uh, I appreciate the people who followed me, the people who bought the heck of life, but the show is literally over. Like, the show is over. No reunion needs to be paid. No, it's to the point where even, like, my, the guy who does my email bookings and stuff for me, he, it was me, him, my grandma, and, um, somebody else, I can't say their name right now, but, um, they was like, Darrell, we don't even think... They was like, we... um. They was like, Darrell, we think you should just make a live about it and stop going live. So now it's like, they don't even want me... Um. They made you look like a hater. No, they didn't. I didn't want to be there. I genuinely don't want to be there. Your union is the closing of receipts that wasn't right. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah, the reunion is a the the reunion is always supposed to be the closure. That's what I call it, the closure of the show. But I'm just ready for baddies to come on. Um so it's like So it's like we could go on and move on to the next chapter of y'all lives or next of your lives. So yeah, because now it's like they don't even want me to go live because it's like we can't even talk about nothing. And it was like the hair can line that up. Maybe you should be a part of your contracts. I said that. So now it's just like. You tried to keep the peace. No, it's it's more than what y'all know. It was like, um, I don't know who she's talking to, but, um, it was more to it. Sometimes it was just like, um, to keep it, they might have, I, I personally think that they're going to probably do away with bad boys. In my opinion, from what it seemed, they're going to do away with bad boys. So no, I'm going to do another reality show, but it's not a. It's like a, it's a, it's a competition. <laughs> it's literally a competition show with white people. It's boring now. You know what's crazy? I told them on the show that I told them coming film the show. I didn't want to fight. I didn't want to do this. I didn't want to do that. Yeah, two people, like, really just took me there, but I really didn't want to fight. I told them I was just going to chill this episode, this season. Like, I'm going to do another show that's more like in a positive line. Yeah, so some of this, some of them is probably, like, you just never know. Like, you just never know what life will take you. Like, this may be my last, well, <laughs> um, some of them, it may just be their last book. And so I understand live it to the fullest, but it's, it's done now. If I get old sometimes, especially when I'm not a fighter. I'm not a fighter. Like, I wouldn't, I couldn't see me, I wouldn't see me in my, I don't, as of from what, the way it's going now, I don't see me being in my 30s fighting on the show. Like, I genuinely just don't see me. I just don't see me like in my thirties fighting. You are a fighter. No, I'm not. Like if you realize it, my I thrive the the best episodes. The episodes I did best in, if you didn't realize, was the episodes with, um, when it was competition and stuff involved, like football and boxing and all that. I don't, I'm, I'm not, I don't just see it no more for me. And then not just that, you gotta understand too. It's not even just the... It's just not even that. It's the, the, the type of negative people that come with it. The negative people that come with it. Like, you'll be surprised how flabbergasted, how flabbergasted I was.
to see how people saying I'm stuck up and I'm bougie and I'm boring now because I wasn't fighting and jumping on people and being such a hothead from the first season. So it 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 caught me by genuine it it genuinely caught me by surprise that people um were upset. A lot of people was like, oh, you're boring, you're this, you're that, this and the fourth and all that. Because I wasn't jumping on people, like cursing and yelling and doing that like I was the last season. It got to the point where I didn't even want to be there. So, yeah, I genuinely could say um, I don't think I would come back for it. Um, I don't think I would be back. If you have a twin now, you should be... Like, I don't know, like, arguing and stuff on reality TV, like, Real Housewives, I can deal with that. Or, like, even, like, Love & Hip Hop, because they really don't technically fight on Love & Hip Hop. Seemed like a lot of people were just doing higher shit. I was sober the majority of the season. I think everybody just wanted me to be drunk and be, like, thrown off. Like, I think, I think they just wanted me to be, like, extremely drunk and throw it off. Yeah, no. I think, me personally, I ain't even gonna hold you. My grandma told me something, and that's what, this is what's making me kind of, like, not even want to do it anymore. She said, Darrell, you're getting mean. She said, you don't, you're not even, she was like, you don't even, like, in being involved with your fans anymore. She said, because people, all that arguing and all that kind of stuff and this, that, and forth, she was like, you're becoming a mean person because you don't want to be involved with that show anymore. And when she said it, it clicked. It was like, people come up to me and talk about bad boys, and I would tell you, get on my face. And I was like, bitch. Well, I ain't call my grandma no bitch. But I was like, she right, because it's like, she was like, you wasn't even happy doing the show. She was like, I remember when you, because mind you, I was staying at my grandma's house because I had just moved out of my apartment. Because I was about to renew my lease. I was about to move apartments and then go get another apartment. And she was like, no, just wait. Don't get an apartment yet. And I was saying to my grandma, and when they called me for Bad Boys Club, I think Lemmy reached out to me. I was like, hey, I want you. I, want, I have a, a show I want you to do. This, that, and the fourth, and all of that. And I was like, okay, cool. I, I said no the first two times that he came back. And that's how I did season one. And it was just like... It was really like it was like really like you know I was excited. See the second season, I was just like, let me go do my hair line. Yeah, when I was I was twenty four when we filmed, so it was a year, twenty four, twenty five. So yeah, I was twenty four, and then I did this one at twenty five because I just turned twenty six. So, yeah, no. <sighs> you could low-key tell on the show it wasn't given for you. Yeah, only reason I fully stayed is because they pay you in increments. So, if you didn't, if you left, you didn't get your checks. So, you get one check. I got one check right before filming. I don't even remember what house I was at. Oh, 
Oh, you got one? I got one before. I got one before the show. I got one once the show ended, and then I got mine a few days after the premiere. So you had to wait to get your checks. So that's why I say, because maybe you, I wasn't about to give them, I wasn't about to go on the show and then give that type of whatever or whatever, just be on there and all that, and then leave and leave with nothing. So no. But yeah, so I made an agreement with my girl, my grandma, that I would not go live anymore because one, she's sick of, she's sick of it, which I am too, but she's sick of the, the negativity. She says to be all are very annoying. Um, oh girl, shut up. And then it's like, it's to the point now. His show will be born. My show will be born. Because I'm not going to be doing nothing. This is all I do. Y'all don't understand. Only thing I do is lay around my house and watch TV. And then it's like, I'm just waiting. I'll come back when it like, it dies down some. Like... See, that's nice that you love you alive and all that. Um, I gotta let shit die down because this is like getting annoying. Like, I'm literally a boring person. If I'm not grocery shopping and finding stuff to cook, I'm literally laying down watching like my comfort shows. Let's go do some cooking tutorials. I'll do some reels, I'll do some cooking reels. But, yeah, it's like, no. <sighs> like, I'm not trying to, like, really. Oh, Lord. I don't know what's in this eye. But this eye is going crazy. Oh, I don't care if I was born or not. I still got paid. At the end of the day, I still got paid. Born or not, I got paid. I know this is what our Sundays consist of. Look. We really just, like, even my dog, we just lay around all day. Like, me and my dog literally lay around the house all day. Like, this is what, this is what our Sundays consist of. Like, this is what we do. Like, this is what our Sundays consist of. I'm going to get up. Let's see. Let me fuck it. The Dancer Dolls. I love the Dancer Dolls. The dancing dolls and girlfriends. That's what I go for. You watching Jocelyn tonight? No, I don't have Zeus anymore. (laughs) 
What's the first thing you did that made you famous? I jumped off a bridge and did and landed in the water in a split. <laughs>